some people ask me, what do I do at Twitch? Uh, I'm a network engineer, particularly doing DevOps practices. And I would say it's a pretty interesting job. I had some experience before uh, with site reliability engineering as a Linux administrator for my university, where I used Ansible for server configuration and just uploading packages and servers and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's been a pretty good month so far, and I'm pretty eager about what there is to do next in terms of my project. So yeah, right now, heading to the gym, Fitness SF, Trans Bay. I think it's going to be a chest day, maybe? I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to get my bench up. But yeah, let's see what happens next. So you're probably wondering what I do at Twitch as a DevOps and network engineer intern. I can't get too deep into the details of what my project is and what I'm currently working on, partially because I'm not fully aware of what I can talk about, so I think it's wise to mention as little as possible pertaining to my project. But nevertheless, my work deals with DNS, service reliability, infrastructure as code, cloud computing, continuous integration and continuous development, and database retrieval. In terms of coding, much of my coding is done for the purpose of scripting in order to accomplish repetitive tasks. To achieve this, I use Bash, Python, and recently, for the sake of experimentation, I was allowed to dabble in F Sharp, a functional programming language. Now, because I'm a network engineer, I'm in a similar domain to, say, a cloud engineer. So in that capacity of cloud technology, I'm using Terraform for provisioning AWS cloud infrastructure, and Ansible for server configuration. For my job, there's more YAML than there is development, so it's very different from a normal software engineer job, I would say. There is a strong emphasis in first understanding the cloud resources you'll need for the cloud architecture you're going to make. With this in mind, I refer to the architecture diagram that I made in the genesis of my project. I would say that the job is challenging, but not in the I want to give up and die kind of a way, but, but rather the, wow, I've hit a roadblock, but I've been learning so much already, I think I can figure this out kind of way. Granted, working under this nebulous DevOps title demands an understanding that you will have to have a broad grasp of many technologies, tools, and in some cases, programming languages. 
I would consider myself a junior level network engineer that uses DevOps practices at work. And because I don't have much time here as an intern compared to a full time regular worker, I know that I'm going to have trouble understanding every single component and trying to figure out what all AWS uh, resources are doing, right? Trying to get the general idea of a particular process flow and how major cloud components interact with each other is how I go about strutting through my project. At times, if I don't want to bug my mentor, boss, or team with questions regarding my project, I consult documentation. AWS, Terraform, and Ansible all have well-written documents, so it's pretty easy to find most of what I'm looking for. In regards to learning while working, I know many interns have trouble with this, especially one in any software engineering role. You feel as if you're replicating Stack Overflow posts. All I can say is that before I started my actual project, I was given small projects that primed me for taking on the big thing. For instance, I created an AWS cloud environment in Terraform by doing the typical resource spin and specification. However, Eventually, I had to use modules and create modules myself. Had I gone straight into creating modules or just using a module, I would not know how things are being referenced and it would be a bit more challenging. I made an operational Ansible playbook to understand how DNS records work and how I would be able to swap them by using Ansible. There's a lot in the realm of DNS, but creating an Ansible playbook helped me understand a lot in no time. This is because of how granular Ansible is. I would have to specify each task when switching DNS records, which in turn educated me a bit more about DNS. So how did I get my internship at Twitch? Well, I would say that Twitch was a moonshot, definitely. But basically, I applied on a job recruiting website. If I recall correctly, it was either Monster or LinkedIn. I then was sent a coder pad to do. Afterwards, I got an email from my university recruiter, and before I knew it, I got interviews. Then, February 3rd, while I was on campus, I got the news that I had gotten the job, and it was an amazing feeling. So, what advice would I give to anyone who's trying to get into network engineering or cloud engineering? I would say definitely learn a scripting language, Bash or Python. I think Python is like the standard. And knowing some infrastructure as code tools like Terraform, Ansible, Chef, Puppet, those are all very helpful. And then finally, understanding the core concept of DevOps, the DevOps practices, specifically continuous integration and continuous development. This is pretty much what I've been doing at my job, but learn how to break things down in a way that you can digest information fast. Everyone's different, right? But Definitely, like I said with the DNS example, making those Ansible playbooks helped me understand DNS and DNS records. So that's a very, very monumental thing for me. And going through the process of spinning up AWS resources or any cloud provider resources using Terraform and then using modules and finally creating Terraform modules really helps enforce your learning process because now you're starting to link things together and you can see where things are being referenced. So those are just some of my tips. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Twitch is really, really cool. And I'm very grateful to have an opportunity to be here. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you got something out of it. And yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.